Mayor, question to you. Um, one of the things that um, the, the Florida uh, uh, Economic Council 100 uh, came out with a report a couple of days ago indicating that while tourism is important in the state of Florida, Florida really looks needs to diversify. Do you think Miami Beach needs to diversify its industry in order to be viable in the good times and in bad? Well, that is always a key. We have offered incentives while when we were at the very beginning also, we offered incentive. Then we didn't need to offer, offer incentive to bring uh, like the, uh, the IBMs and, and the businesses. We should diversify. I think that in this economy, it's always good to diversify. I think that we our biggest employer is Mount Sinai, and I think that maybe that's where we should also help. And, uh, but tourism has always been the major. Uh, so healthcare would be another industry you would be looking yes. toward. Yes. Thank you. Laura? I think it should be diversified. Uh, as it is, our community is very diversified. And uh, I think that we should be working on uh, giving incentive to, uh, on the small businesses. A community can now work and cannot earn only from the big businesses. We need the small businesses to, to really balance our community. Thank you. Rafael. As I said, I speak 90 foreign languages. I'm the one who's been known in more than 50 countries. I'm the one who's going to bring here tourists by the millions. When I bring Bin Laden to America, the whole world is going to watch me. Just to come to Miami Beach to meet that man who brought Bin Laden to America for justice. Hundreds of millions will come to, America, to Miami Beach just to meet me. It's going to be a movie on Miami Beach. I will be the star of that movie, how I got Bin Laden. It's going to be a lot of action on Miami thank Beach. Thank you, thank you very I much. I will... Rafael, thank you. Um, and and, and uh, I, I'm going to still just want, throw in one quick question for the three of you. H1N1 virus is of critical concern to everybody. With tourism coming into Miami Beach, how do you protect not only tourists, but your residents as well from the dangers of H1N1? And Mayor, I'm gonna start with you on that one because you've been involved in the direct policy with that and I wanna give each of well, you the same amount of time to deal with that. We had a meeting with the Homeland Security and we discussed this issue and it's really not much that we can do anymore. They have not done anything. They don't even anymore, they feel people are gonna catch this flu. And what we can do is the different things of educating, coughing into something, coughing into your sleep, don't go out like I shouldn't be here maybe now uh, doing this. Yeah. And, and well, I, you know, I've had this call for, two weeks already and but I don't want to disappoint and look like I don't want to come but let me tell you you it is a tough uh, virus that is going around but Homeland Security when we met said they're just it's just just real quick happen. are hospitals are, are hospitals getting additional help is there a lot of communications well, coming from waiting Washington? for the uh, the uh, the vaccine the vaccine okay, thank you I'm sorry Rafael same question to you and then Laura we got one <laughs> hospital on Miami Beach that we can rely. This is yeah. Mount Sinai. The city of Miami Beach, one way or another, we must help Mount Sinai to assist them in any way possible. And I'm going to tell you why. If Mount Sinai will close tomorrow the doors, if something happens to any one of you, it will take another 10 minutes, 15 minutes, to arrive to a hospital, to Jackson Memorial, or to another hospital in Miami-Dade County. Thank you. We need Miami, Thank Mount so Sinai, much. to be alive, Laura, and we it. must assist I'm them. Time now. Thanks. Okay. Uh, you ask a question, but let me finish. No, no, no. Um, I have five children. Five children enroll in the public school system. I'm really concerned about my children because when one gets sick, we all, all, all of us have to quarantine. It means that in 20 days, the other one gonna get sick, and then so on. I think that common sense will do. 
Make sure your kids wash their hands before they, uh, they get out of the classroom. When they go into the classroom, make sure they wash their hands and, and take showers when they get uh, home from school. Thank you. But it's basically common sense. Thank you very much. And instead of closing arguments, as a quick closing because you guys had great opening, let me just ask um, one quick question to each of you, and it's the same one. Clucky got so much national attention for Miami Clucky. Beach, for better or for worse. What does Clucky tell us about Miami Beach? Rafael. What do you mean, Clucky? Clucky was a rooster. You're right, you're right. Why did I even go there? Why did I even go there? You're absolutely right. That's a good. It's you the. Have to be specific. I, I don't understand what you're talking about. Closing argument. I'll give you a, a, a one minute closing argument. Not only English. I understand that. Well, one minute closing argument. For me? You, a closing argument. One minute. Why should people vote for you? Why? Yes, sir. Because I will be the next mayor of Miami Beach, either you like it or not. <laughs> I'm going to knock down the media from morning till evening. I will spend close to $10 million. And those who are corrupted, who try to chase me away, not this time. This time, I'm in control. For 30 years, the election was fraudulent. I ran for 30 years, six times. This time, I am the next mayor of Miami Beach. Because once and for all, we must clean the mafia and the corruption in the city of Miami Beach. Thank you very much. I am Rafael Herman, thank the you very of the people. much. Now, Laura Rivero Levy. Clocky. It was social. Um, uh, it was such a character for our community. I will see Clocky on Sunday. My kids will play with Clocky, and uh, it, we, we love when he goes coo coo coo. -coo. My kids will sing that the whole way all day long. But there's some issues about Clocky that disturb a lot of people. Is that we couldn't stop and sing. And it will sing at all times. And it bothers a lot of people. It did not bother me or my children. And we miss Clocky. But it happened what it happened. And my closest statement is that I want to be your mayor. I want to be your mayor because I'm bringing leadership skills I, I want to recuperate our stressful economical time that we're living right now. And please vote for me. Number 53, Thank Laura Rivera Levy. Thank you. Mayor Mary Herrera Bauer. Clucky got the most attention of anything that happened last year. The most of CNN and everybody. And I told them that Clucky would be a very welcome tourist but he just couldn't be arrested. <laughs> so, uh, I, and it shows what a caring community I got. I got over 150 emails on uh, people asking me to do something so the clocky could stay. So it shows, it shows the caring of the community and how much fun Miami Beach is. So, you know, and what a pleasure it is to live here. In my closing statement, I want to say that I have been honored with your vote uh, three times, two as a commissioner and one as a mayor. I hope that I have served you in the capacity that you have chosen me to serve you. And please, I hope that you honor me again, electing me your mayor for my second term. Please vote Mati Herrera Bauer, number 50. Thank you so much for being here.